this is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's Fit Track, and today I'm going to talk about a very new brand which is called Inspired Aroma. I'm sure most of you would not have heard about this, including me, until I had a chat with one of my Instagram follower who also is a subscriber of my YouTube channel. So we were just having a random chat and he was just sharing about his perfumes and I was talking about my perfumes. So he just told me about this new brand which he happened to try which is called Inspired Aroma and he was actually saying that they make really good stuff. So at first I was not in a position to believe that because obviously when he said that it's an Indian brand and it's an Indian perfumer who made really good quality stuff, it was a little hard to believe. It's the normal Indian mentality that we believe that Indian perfumers are not good enough but honestly this totally surprised me when I gave it a try. So when he told me about this particular brand and the perfume, he said that the 50 ml costs 2500 which looked a little too much for an Indian brand but again he said for the quality that they make, he still believes it to be worth that price. And then he also told me that they also give options of 2 ml decans and also 9 ml decans. So this is how they look. These are 2 ml decans. And this is 9 ml decan. So when he told me this option, I was actually interested in trying because that sounded like a reasonable purchase option because you don't really have to blind buy a larger quantity when you're not sure about a new brand. And that's what exactly I did. I got these three samples at first. These are 2 ml, this is 9 ml. And I really loved one of them. I immediately ordered a full bottle of that. And I also ordered all the other samples which they have and that comes in a discovery set box like this this is how it looks it looks very cute very elegant and they also have these note breakdown of each of their fragrances that they have looks very attractive but i would not be talking about all the six that i bought from them today because i have done a full testing of only three as of now i was a little excited to do a video on this so that you guys know about this particular brand and their collection so I would be only talking about three which I have done a full-fledged testing as of now. So I would do the other three in the second part of the video. So this is part one. So let's get started with the collection. So the first one is Pineapple Intense. So this is how it looks, Pineapple Intense. I'm sure the name itself would give you some idea of how exactly this would smell. When you say pineapple, it is obviously Creed Aventus, guys. And just like the name that this one has, it has a very prominent pineapple note which smells so rich, so high quality and the best part is from the top to the base you can still sense the pineapple. I get about 8 hours of longevity in this and 2 hours of projection and even in the 8th hour the pineapple note is still prominent though pineapple note is usually used as top note and it vanishes about 3 to 4 hours. This one does not do that at all. The pineapple note in this one stays until the end just like the name pineapple intense and the pineapple is so creamy so thick so rich if you like the pineapple note in a fragrance if you are a huge fan of creed aventus or say club Dune intense or even beautifulness you will definitely like this one but i would compare this more towards creed aventus because the quality and richness of pineapple note that they have used in this particular fragrance is just fantastic guys I'm talking about quality here. I know the 50 ml might sound a little too much for you guys but if you want to look for quality in a fragrance, if you don't mind going that little above on the budget just because you want quality stuff, this is definitely a must try. I would say that you can easily compare the quality of these perfumes to any designer for that matter. I'm not joking guys. I'm not kidding here. When I say that the quality is good, it is definitely good. Compare this to any designers that you get in Lifestyle or Shopper Stop. I'm 100% sure that if you know the difference of quality, if you are into fragrance, if you are a collector, you will definitely detect that difference. The quality of all the three that I have tried is top class. You can easily compare it to the quality of any designer fragrance that you get in the market. Honestly, if you do not believe, simplest option is to go for the 2ml samples. This only costs about 150 and I'm sure you won't have to regret for paying that price just to test and in case you like it you can just go for the larger bottle 
I would not say that you have to directly buy a larger bottle. They do have the option of 2 ml and 9 ml, but I would still suggest that you go for the 2 ml option. It just costs 150. So if you are into pineapple based fragrance, this is definitely a must try. So you get that beautiful rich pineapple, thick pineapple, high quality pineapple, along with some spiciness of maybe pink pepper, I guess. You get that light spiciness of pepper note in this. And then in the base, you would also get some woody notes. So pineapple, pink pepper, and woody notes. That's what I get in this, but like I said, the pineapple still sticks on till the end. I get about 8 hours longevity and I still could smell that pineapple note even in the 8th hour. Now that's the best part about this. So if you compare this to Creed Aventus, Aventus comes into that musky woody note in the base. But this one does not have that musky note. I do not really sense that. But gives that slight woodiness in the base. But that pineapple note is still very prominent in this particular scent. So that's pineapple intense. That's at number 3. So the reason why I'm quoting this as number three is because it's a common DNA. You would see many fragrances which are trying to interpret Creed Aventus. So that's the only reason why I'm placing it at number three. But otherwise, if you have to talk about quality, performance, the richness, the likingness towards this fragrance, this is definitely a must try. Just go for the 2 ml sample if you do not want to buy a larger quantity. And then you can decide if you really want to go for the larger quantity or not. So that's about pineapple intense coming in at number two is woody cinnamon. Now just like the name, the most prominent notes in this one is cinnamon and woody note. You would also get a little bit of orange on the top and you would also get a little bit of vanilla in the base along with that woody note. But the most prominent note is cinnamon and woody in this particular scent. And the best part is I smelled many perfumes which has cinnamon note. But to be honest with you guys, I've never ever smelled the quality of cinnamon note that they have used in this one. And I'm not kidding you again. If you do not believe, just go for the 2 ml sample. It only costs about 150. And I'm sure if you are a collector, if you are into fragrances, if you have the habit of trying different fragrances from different brands, you will definitely agree with me on this. The quality of cinnamon used in this particular fragrance is top class I would rate the quality a 9 on 10 for the cinnamon the overall blend I would rate it an 8 on 10 easily I would simply give this an 8 on 10 for the overall blend and for the quality of cinnamon I would simply give it a 9 because I've never ever smelled that quality of cinnamon used in this particular fragrance in my entire life Maybe I haven't tried enough, but until now, whatever designer fragrance has cinnamon or whatever other brands has cinnamon, I've never smelled the quality that you get in this one. So that's Woody Cinnamon. So talking about my wearing experience, as usual, I went about eight sprays to office and it was projecting about half feet to one feet. So that's the max that this would project. Even if you try 10 to 12 sprays, it would not cross one feet boundary because that's the character of this particular scent. And that is why I feel that this is one of the most perfect office scent that you can have in your collection because I see this more of a director or the vice president of the company wearing this one with his suit and tie on with a classy rich professional look where he is having a team meeting with his team members and discussing about the next business plan because that's the image I get when I smell this one because it smells so classy, so rich yet professional and stylish at the same time. So if you want that kind of an office scent where you smell rich, class, stylish, professional, this is definitely one of the best that you can try. So I got about eight to nine hours of longevity when I tried this one. So my colleague who sits right next to me said that this smells good, but he could smell only when he comes right next to me. So I cannot really say that that's the problem with this scent because that's the character of each scent. And that is why it is most suitable for office because your office fragrance should not project too loud. But at the same time, it should still smell classy and pleasing. So this has that character. And like I said, the cinnamon quality is a 9 on 10 for me. And when I reached back home and I was taking the stairs up to my room, my wife was walking right behind me. She immediately asked if I was wearing that cinnamon one which I got recently. And I was a little surprised when she asked because that is about 6 or 7 hours after I wore this one. I was a little surprised when she asked and I asked her if it was still projecting. She said... It's not really projecting, but she could smell it still when she walks right behind me. And that's when I realized that it was still lasting on my clothes. 
And when I actually tested it without wearing it on myself, I got about eight to nine hours and that's pretty good for an office scent. And another thing which I missed to mention, all of these from these brands are extremely to perform concentration, which is about 35% concentrated oil. And then comes the rest of the ethanol and other stuff, which you generally don't see in designers. They only go about eau de toilet and eau de perfume usually, and few come about perfume, but extremely to perform concentration comes usually only in niche brands like Montal and MFK. And that's the best part about this. And that's why I say that even for the price, if you want to look for quality, this is still worth the price. But like I said, again, you can simply go for the two ml samples and then decide if you want to go for the large bottle or not. So all these two ml samples cost about 150 excluding the shipping charge. So you don't really have to regret for buying even if you don't like this, but I really doubt if somebody would dislike this because if you are into fragrance, if you have the habit of trying different fragrances, then you will definitely agree that this has quality guys. Okay, so that was Woody Cinnamon. Now coming to the last one is Candy Floss. So this was the 9ml bottle that I got. I really love this one and that's the reason I got a full 50ml bottle of this one. This costs about 2500 for 50ml extra to perform concentration. This lasted 20 hours plus on me and that is not the reason why I got this, not because of the lasting, because I really love the smell. So it smells like that sweet sugar syrup with the slight smoky touch and it has that tinge of jasmine on the top to give it that slight feminine touch. This is more of a unisex scent, but guys can also carry it off, women can also carry it off. The sugar syrup and jasmine makes it feminine, but that sugar syrup with that smoky vibe makes it masculine. So it is 50-50 I would say. So for the guys who do not like sweet fragrances, I don't really suggest this because it is definitely sweet, but it is not sweet in the floral way or not sweet in the fruity way. The sweetness that this one has is more like how you feel when you boil sugar syrup and the fumes that you get, which gives that sugary and that smokiness. That's what exactly this one smells like, but in a much richer, smoother, creamier way. It is definitely not one of those sweetness that you would have smelt in designer brands. It is definitely not one of the common notes. They have used a molecule called malol, which you don't really see in designer brands as well. And that is why I really like this one. It is definitely slightly unique because of that smoky sugar syrup. And then it also has ambroxin and woody and musk in the base, which makes it even more attractive. So coming to my wearing experience, when I wore this to office, it was projecting about two to three feet in the first two hours easily because I was indoors. And then I got about a lasting of 12 hours easily on me, but I was not able to smell it after eight hours because of old factory fatigue, which is normal when you wear it yourself but others were able to smell me even on the 12th hour. And the reason why I said 20 plus hours is because when I tested it on my handkerchief, I could smell it even after the third day, but I'm still quoting it as 20 hours plus. So even the 20 hours that I'm quoting, I'm sure many of you would assume that I'm just exaggerating it, but I'm not exaggerating it, guys. I'm talking about facts here. If I had to quote 20 hours, just for the sake of it, I would have told all of these stay about 20 hours, I'm not quoting it that way. I'm talking about candy floss, which says 20 hours plus, but do not judge it when you're wearing it yourself. Watch this video before you continue to watch this, before you continue to disbelieve me about the 20 hours that I'm referring to here. So watch this video completely, and then you'll understand why I'm quoting it as 20 hours plus. So when I tested it on the handkerchief, I could even smell it on the third day, and it was still very prominent. It's not just what I felt. I've asked others as well, and they also said they could smell it easily, and the smell was still very prominent. And that is why I'm saying that this stays easily 20 hours plus, though I could smell it on the third day in the handkerchief that I've applied. So when I initially tested it from this decan, which I got first, I felt, wow, this smells really nice. And I also showed my wife and sister, and they immediately said, it smells like Dubai Mall because that's the richness of sweetness that this one has, which is why I really wanted a full bottle of this and I was really impressed with this one. And one of my female colleague also liked this. She immediately asked, which is this one? I never smelled this on you before. She really happened to like this one. But I'm not saying everybody would feel that wow because I've seen difference in opinion, but none of them said that it does not smell good. 
Some of them have rated it a 7.5, some of them have rated it a 9. But none of them went below that. None of them said that it does not smell good. It's just that you need to have taste towards sweet fragrance and only then you would like this one. So if you do not like sweet fragrance, then do not go for this one. And if you still want to try it, just go for the 2ml sample that I suggested. That's the easiest purchase option that you have. And if you then like it, you can go for the large bottle. So that's about it. Those were the three that I've done full-fledged testing. So I would talk about the other three samples that I have in the part two because I do not want to randomly talk about it until I finish a full-fledged testing on those three as well. So stay tuned for the part two. So see you next time in another video. Let me know what you think about these fragrances in case you have tried them or you have bought them. Share your thoughts with me. Let me know if you also feel that these have that quality that I'm referring to in the video. I'm not saying that this is the best quality that you can find in the entire world, but I would definitely say that the quality that they have used in this one and the quality that you see in designers is a face-to-face -face battle. This can easily battle with the quality of designer brands that you see in the market. And if you are into designer brands where you pay about 4K to 5K, this is definitely a must try because it only costs about 2500 for the 50 ml bottle but again like i said you can simply test the 2 ml first and then decide if you want to go for that one so let me know your thoughts about these fragrance see you next time in another video cheers